Hello folks, it's Keith down at Rubber Groves and today we're going to start putting some of the timber frame together for this addition off of our barn. Um, you can see in the background I've got uh, the three posts and I'm pointing to the phone, that's good. Uh, those three posts and I'm working backwards. Uh, having a hard time today, huh folks? Anyhow, there's the three posts that are going to be going up against the back wall and I have one of the beams uh, to tie the two posts. So what I'm going to try to do today is, uh, it's that Japanese treatment and everybody says they try to pronounce it and I'm not even going to try. But it's where you burn the wood and hopefully that does some type of uh, pre-treating so that the bugs and that don't get in there. Um, I don't want to try to stain it. Um, this wood has been sitting for well, different pieces of it for almost a year now. Um, but we've got a lot of rain so I'm not sure how well this is going to burn. But stick with me and let's see how we can get this going and just see how it works. So let's get this started and see how it works.
Well, heck, that was a lot of fun. I don't think I got it. I know I don't got it. I know I have not done this as dark or as burned as other people on YouTube. Um, I'm not really sure the total necessity of how charred or how much burn you have to do to change the surface tension so that the critters don't want to go in it. Um, I don't want to get this thing all charcoal burned up so like uh, you see it, it looks like it's been actually on a barn fire. Uh, I just want to uh, just change the surface tension and see if that'll that'll help. So that's what I'm going to do on this. I'm going to turn these things around and uh, do the other sides and uh, let's see if we can start putting some thing, things together. Stick with me. Alrighty, we're starting to put the uh, timber together. So you can see here, um, I've got it squared up. I've got my cross support in, and I see an uh, issue that I'm going to have. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the, um, I don't know the proper terminology, but my support that goes from this post to the other post is going to interlock in here, and that is a 4x8. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get that in and lock that in with this uh, cross support in. But we're going to put this cross support in so we can get it up if I can get it up. Um, and I can wiggle it in. Cool. If not, um, I'll just um, take this out and uh, put it in and then tie everything back in. 
I'm using uh, these timber lock screws. Um, I have these are four inch. I'm going to put these into the cross support or the dyno supports, whatever you want to classify them as. And I have some 10 inch I'm going to put in this one. And then I've got some, I got a couple eight inches also that I'm going to put in the other one only because I want to tie that in. Um, but there's going to be the other um, beam is going to interlock into that. Uh, show you what I'm talking about. If you come over here, you can see uh, I've notched and I'm notched it down there. So what I'm going to take is the other beam and I'll do the mirror image of it. And then those will interlock into it. And then I will screw both of them down into this post. But for now, to get this up and start erecting the system up, I'm going to put uh, a couple eight inches in and tie it in just so that uh, it's in place so that it doesn't move while we get it up. And then when I get the other beam in, I'll put in the 10 inch ones. That makes sense? Cool. Let's uh, put some of these in. Um, these are three, three by fives. My posts are six by six. So what I took was a two by four, uh, traditional two by four, and I'm setting that on so that this is about an inch and a half on uh, each side to split the, uh, the difference. So that's kind of in the middle. Did it to both of them. So let's interlock those in. Now for the 10 inchers. These will go through pine. When I was doing the timber frame entrance, um, I, that was white oak. I had to pre-drill them make them work. <sighs> Just verifying and working still. Excellent. Let's go do the other post. Well, folks, there you have it. Uh, the first section of the timber frame is uh, screwed together. I've uh, I burned it, the boards, to uh, hopefully treat it so that it doesn't uh, have insects and rot. And uh, I know I didn't burn it as, as other people have done. Um, I might have to go a little bit deeper, but at this point, I kind of like it the way it is, um, and I'd like to keep it that way. If I have to, maybe I'll, uh, I'll seal it before I think I'll burn it so it looks like uh, coal. I just don't like that. So anyhow, we've got this uh, screwed in. Um, like I said, I might have to take this cross support off to be able to put in that beam. On this side, over here, if we look, uh, I have them all facing in the same direction, so I won't have an issue on this one. I'll put this one on uh, when I put that post on for this outside post, and then I'll put the other side on, and uh, that'll give me that in there, and then I can put the cross brace in. So it's looking pretty decent. I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty happy with it right now. I can't, uh, I can't deny that. If you like, please uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, hit that subscribe, and uh, share with a friend. Thank you, and see you on the next one.